So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add the promised effect and take your footage from this to this. You want to give your footage a soft filmic look and also give the image a little bit of glow and take it away from the digital sharpness using DaVinci Resolve. This is what you need to do. Okay, so this is my footage. This is what I've got. As you can see, it looks boring. It looks dull. Um, but now we want to give a little bit of um, life to this. So let's head to the color page of DaVinci. Okay, right now. So we've got our footage here. Um, from this, my notes now, the very first thing I did was just to do a little bit of um, white balancing to take my footage from here to this point. I just did a little bit of um, balancing of the image. Nothing much. It's not a color grading tutorial. So I took my image from the original to here. So this is where we are now. I added a lot also just to give it a little bit of pop and look that I want to work with. So now in order to add the promised effect, what you have to do here is um, I already added it here, but um, let me just reset this node right here. After you've given your image the kind of look you want, so now in order to add the promise effect, so what you do, you add a node which you can use your option S, or you just um, come here, you right click, and then you add a node, a serial node, either way. So here, what you do now, you come to this icon here, which is your blur icon, you click it, blur to blur, right? And then you come to this first part here, this first radius here, and then you want to blur it out totally by taking it all the way out. Now relax, when you do that, your footage looks blurry and not nice, but that's not all. After you've done that, you come back here to the node and then you right click and you come all the way down to composite mode. And in composite mode, you go to um, screen, right? screen in order to blend the effects into the footage properly now once you do that this is what you have now if you like your footage like this you can leave it like this but for me i think this is just too much so what i would want to do now i would want to reduce the intensity of the effect a little bit by coming here when you click here you come to the key output section here and then now i'm going to take it all the way down all the way up for you to see how it affects the um footage now you see if i go all the way down now the effect is out and if i go all the way up you see what it gives me so when you double click here it goes back to its original state but i would love to just dial it down a little bit i don't want it to be too strong so maybe um somewhere around here um 0.620 yeah i think i would want to work with it somewhere here i think i'm fine with this and then um now you add another node where you just want to um, balance your exposure a little bit so um with this you just come here and um, i'll just want to take um just nothing much just to maybe pull down my shadows a little bit you know just to give me more separation and then i do something like if i go all the way you see what it gives so i don't want anything harsh just subtle yes i think somewhere here i can work with somewhere here just a little bit and then um i, I want to add another note just to maybe bring uh, my sharpness a little bit up just a little just a little so i come here now to my blur to blur and i bring it to um maybe 45 you know just to give me a little bit of sharpness um, on my face maybe 44 thereabout yeah i'd want to do remember when you use the promise effect it's um makes your subject looks a little bit smooth and doesn't give you that um strong sharpness it gives it a filmic look this is how we started it see without the promise effect and when i add it this is where it goes so you can see the difference right you can see the difference what it does to the footage if i bring it to full screen you can see um 
how it tops, it makes it look more expensive, makes your footage looks much more um, better, makes your editing speaks more, you know. And let's look at another footage here. So um, this footage, what I did here, this is the original footage. Um, first node, a little bit of white balance, nothing much. The footage looks um, balanced already, the color and everything. I'm not going to do much. And then let me reset this node. So the same process, the promised effect, um, you come here to your blur to blur and you will take it all the way up, which blurs the image. And then you, you right click on that same node. You go to composite mode and you go to screen, which balances your image. So you see how it looks at this point, but I think it's a little bit strong. So, um, I'd want to bring it, dial it down um, a little bit by coming to my keynote on the same node, rather. Go to my keynote and I just dial down the gain a little bit. If I go all the way down, you see, if I go all the way up, you see what it gives me. So I double click to take it back to the original and uh, maybe I want to put it somewhere here, somewhere here, yeah. I think I'm fine with that. And then um, I think I just want to um, balance my exposure level a little bit. I think I want to balance my exposure le level a little bit. So I'm just going to come here to my custom curves and just dial it down and dial it down a little bit. So somewhere there. So you can see what I've got now from here to here, original promised effect. So you see what it gives. So in case you don't have a promised effect filter to use on set, with DaVinci Resolve, you can always create a promised effect and make your footage look good. So thank you very much. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notification bell also. Thank you. See you in the next tutorial.